Hey, this is Gary with Today for Tomorrow, and I'm super excited because I finally get to test the soil in my food forest. I got a soil test kit in the mail today, and in one week's time, I'm going to have real answers to the micronutrients, the needs, and the deficiencies in my yard, and that's going to be a huge help for getting this food forest in tip-top shape. So I'm going to take you along the whole process with me because this is my first time doing a test kit, and it's probably something that anybody that gardens really should do. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is dig five to six little sample holes up to six inches deep and kind of fill this box with some soil. And then we'll mix all that together and then put that in a little jar they provided and then send it off. I've got about five to six spots I sampled. I'm gonna get a scooper, fill it up, Dump it in this little jar. That's it. I'll seal that up and mail it off and we'll wait for the results. Okay, well super exciting. It's been a week and I got all my results back and I logged on and it shows me exactly what my yard is deficient in and exactly what I need in terms of the micronutrients uh, in boosting my pH, uh, whether I want to do it organically, which of course I do, or synthetically. And let me show you here, showing me that my pH is low. And I kind of always assumed that, and now I know for a fact. So it's telling me how to bring that up by using calcitic lime. And then it's showing me that, you know, which nutrients are good and which ones are low and, and a couple that are high. So it's showing me and I want to do this organic, I can do it organic or synthetic, exactly the fertilizers I need and how much. So I went ahead and I ordered those uh, online. I've gotten them, I've already put the lime down, uh, some of the fertilizer. Now today I'm going to do, I just got this in the mail, uh, the potash basically, this langbenite. I don't know if I'm saying that properly. I've got a couple of bags of that I'm going to throw down and I'll take you out in the garden and show you uh, how everything's looking. Okay, so the timing I think was perfect for this because we just had a pretty cold winter and a lot of these tropical trees lost their leaves and now they're just coming back as you can see here with this sugar apple just coming back with some new growth and I'm going to turn around and show you a few of the trees that are just really starting to bud nicely and by giving them, uh, you know, in a scientific sense exactly what they need, they're just going to thrive for this whole spring season. So you can take a look now. Here's another sugar apple and you can see it was completely naked and it's just starting to have some new growth and here's a mulberry that was naked uh, literally bare not a leaf on it two weeks ago and you can see look at all this new growth and look at all these mulberries starting up so just the perfect timing I think to give these plants what they need hey well there you have it do the soil test it's easy it's quick it's fun and it lets you give your garden or your food forest exactly what it needs so that it can be more productive and that's what we want the more productive we make our home gardens the less we have to buy food from the grocery stores so the more we're lowering our carbon footprint and so little things like that that we do in our daily lives today they really do have such a big impact on all of our tomorrows thanks for watching